Welcome to the Coin Atlantis channel, the old and rare coins channel. Do not forget to click on the like button and activate the subscription bell until you receive all new on our channel. My dear friends, we are going to start a series of episodes on ancient currencies of different countries around the world. We will give you information about them, and you will tell us in the comments how much these coins are worth. During a competition, significant prizes will be awarded to the one who gives us the approximate price of the currency offered. Prices are per piece, old copies are distributed to subscribers of the channel. eighteen fifty four liberty head large cent the eighteen fifty four liberty head large cent is a coin that is highly collectible and sought after by collectors from the u.s. and around the world the coin may be old but it is incredibly popular because of its historical significance and waning quantities available though there are plenty of liberty heads available for sale that number is decreasing all the time as such, there has never been a better time than now to get your hands on one. On the coin's obverse side, the center of the coin is marked by the image of Lady Liberty, who is facing leftward. There is a band resting upon Lady Liberty's head, and within that band the word Liberty is inscribed. Beneath the central image there is another inscription, this one marking the 1854 year of minting. Finally, around the outside of the coin there are 13 stars, each one representing one of the 13 original colonies of the United States. On the reverse side of the coin, the center of the face is dominated by an inscription which marks the one cent face value. Surrounding this, there is the image of a beautiful, circular wreath. On the outside of that, there is one more inscription, reading United States of America. On the very outer edges of both sides of the coin there are raised rays, and these rays give the coin a bit of added texture. Grading the 1854 Liberty Head Large, Cent For collectors, the fact that the 1854 Liberty Head is as frequently counterfeited as it is means that something must be done in order to protect themselves from these counterfeits. As a way of doing this, collectors will only settle for purchasing those coins that have been graded and certified as being authentic. Uncirculated 1854 Liberty Head Large, Cent a Liberty Head that is determined to be of uncirculated grade is one that never spent any time at all on the open market. Having been preserved from the day they were minted, these coins will appear to be in the same condition today as it was back in 1854. Extremely Fine A coin determined to be of extremely fine grade is one that might have been circulated, but not for a very long period of time. When it comes down to it, the damage you will notice on these coins is extremely small. Fine, a coin determined to be of fine grade is one that spent a good bit of time in circulation, however the damage on these coins is not overly significant. You will notice some light scratching and smoothing on the surfaces of the coin, however none of the imagery nor lettering will have been compromised. Good, good is the lowest grade a coin can receive, an indicative of a coin that has been extremely heavily circulated and damaged. The damage on the surface of these coins is so significant that some of the imagery and lettering might have been compromised altogether. 
pricing the 1854 Liberty Head Large, sent. In order to determine a price for the 1854 Liberty, the first thing a collector or anyone else should look at is the condition the coin is in. Naturally, if the coin has been well preserved over the years, it is likely to carry a higher price tag than if it were overly damaged. What's more, the quantity of coins for sale also comes into play. If there are only a few coins on the market, the price you will pay, per coin, will be more than if there were an abundance for sale. So, what do you think the price of this currency shown in this video will be?